I'm Jack Hummel from Christian Brothers College High School. People have been farming for thousands of years, and until the last century or so, little has changed. But as Jayla Woodard from Overton High School found out, the future of farming is change. It's a third party. Kyle Spradley often works with farmers in Missouri and has seen a major shift. You know, a lot of problems has been getting, you know, younger generation to care about the farm. And one way that the younger generation has been kind of interested about farming and getting them involved with agriculture is the use of a lot of new technology. However, not everyone welcomes the change. These are zucchinis and squash. They've just been harvested. Adam Saunders continues to farm like his grandfather taught him. There's a paradox of urban agriculture, of small-scale farms. You want to grow really high-value crops and sell them at the highest price. So you make these fancy restaurants fancier. And like, is that really our calling? Like, none of us feel all that good about that. We'd rather feed people in our neighborhood and, and get, get this really good produce to people in need. The future of farms is changing. A majority of farmers are using more advanced machines, such as this one. In just 10 years, we've gone from using more simplistic machines, such as this one, to the more advanced ones, such as this one. These are the largest in the world. I took a tour with Tim Reinbot, who embraces the change and says the machines are keeping his farm alive. I see more reasons why we need, how, how, how we can use technology. Where we used to plant all one variety at all one rate, you know, one, all, one size fits all, that's, that's, that's gone. But now we'll be much more efficient now. These are little baby carrots, they just got planted last week. Saunders says young people need to know more about small scale farming. Oh, in the future here, uh, we want to keep bringing more kids out. I mean, that's it's really magical when you see kids pull the carrot out of the ground for the first time, and their eyes are just like, wow, uh, carrots are a plant. Uh, I had no idea they grew in the ground. Farmers may use many different methods, but Spradley says there is one goal. We all have to get along. We all have to like each other. And making it a Democrat, Republican party thing, and it's not that at all. We're all doing the end goal of feeding the billions, feeding the world. With the Missouri Urban Journalism Workshop, I'm Jayla Woodard.